we've come together as a group to look at what it means to belong in Bridgewater. As Bridgewater is going through a great deal of changes at the moment, with a great lot of expansion due to the new Hinkley Point power station that is being built, there has been an influx of different people, new people coming into the town, a lot of building work, a lot of road works, and there's been big changes going on. So we thought that we would put together an exhibit to show the type of people that live in Bridgewater, record sounds of Bridgewater, and to bring a, a sense of the community as it is currently and where we feel it's going to go in the future. Belonging to me is feeling like it's somewhere where you want to be, for a start, feeling like it's somewhere you're welcome. There is a desire to communicate with each other and, and to, uh, to love each other and to help each other. Belonging to Bridgewater means being proud to be part of the community. It means to welcome newcomers. It's a rebel town and that's particularly what appeals to me. This belonging exhibition that we're in the middle of produ producing at the moment, it's going to have uh, voices of Bridgewater in it. It's going to have faces of Bridgewater in it. It's going to have the sounds of Bridgewater in it. Um, and really the exhibition is kind of an amalgamation of lots of different ideas, lots of different sounds, lots of different uh, photographic images um, that kind of gives you a portrait of Bridgewater today. My role has been to work with the pilot group who are a group that we're working with here at the engine room um, and we're skilling them up, I guess, uh, so that they can uh, learn how to use audio equipment, um, photography equipment, filmmaking equipment. I mainly belong in Bridgewater through my coming to the engine room and to Somerset Films to do these community tasks and to help, help people, to chat with people, to connect with people, to share our interests and our love of film and media and to contribute to the moving image. I feel I belong in Bridgewater because it's part of a community that is very positive. There's people here that have similar interests to me with regards to media and camera equipment and such things like that. From a personal point of view it's been quite nice meeting all the, the different young people. That's been quite enjoyable for me. I belonged in Bridgewater for a number of years when I lived at Woolavington and worked in Bridgewater. And I've still got friends living in or around Bridgewater. So I still feel some belonging. That pilot group can not only use the kit, but can also facilitate others to get involved in our exhibition. Our pilot group has been busy going out and about in Bridgewater recording making field recordings of the sounds that you can hear in Bridgewater, of the railway station, of uh, people walking through the town. But we've also got dialogue um, that we're going to weave in and out of this soundscape. I grew up here as a child and I probably was the only black face within a 25 mile radius. It's like, you know, I, I was very aware of that there was not very many cultures, but I think things are changing massively and, and the world's opened up, you know, with travel and flight and everything else. People are more used to other cultures um, and, and a little bit more accepting and that's, that's growing. And within Bridgewater, I, I don't see, I'd, I'll be honest, I was expecting there to be a bit of an issue because people are scared of change and difference, but there hasn't been, which is great. We're hoping that we can sort of represent all sorts of ideas and the, you know, the whole demographic of the town. The Senior Citizens Forum, um, children as young as five years old. Well, my sense of belonging is a little bit more complicated than others. For example, I have Asperger's syndrome. It does give me the tendency to misread human interactions. Uh, 
subtleties per se, like um, it's more difficult to read these signals, so I could easily get the wrong end of entirely the wrong stick. However, when I feel like I actually do belong is when I'm working with a team and I just get to communicate many ideas and many projects with so many people and I enjoy it. I was surprised I can do it because first time. Well, I lived in Fishborough all, nearly all my life, so I've long been Fishborough. It's the groups of people that I'm part of, the faces that I recognise as I'm walking around. I've grown up here and so it's very familiar and the sense of history makes me feel like I'm, I understand it, that I fit in as well. Uh, at the beginning, when I heard that uh, uh, people in the majority in Bridgewater had been voted for Brexit, uh, uh, I felt a bit rejected, but then made me feel very quickly uh, uh, that they were friendly with me and I was part of the family of the people in Somerset and especially in Bridgewater, so uh, forget about Brexit. Well, I've lived here all my life, I absolutely love it. I know everyone. <laughs> What's good about it? Carnival, etc. lots of things. Though we're shooting photographs, we've been trying to explore new ways of showing those photographs, i.e. not photographs in frames on a wall. We wanted to bring an element of interactivity um, into our exhibition. We wanted people to be able to come into the engine room and almost compose the piece themselves by interacting with it. So people can come into the building and tap on a screen and generate audio that's in the form of dialogue. Uh, and maybe they can mix that sound of dialogue with field recordings of Bridgewater and, and some sounds um, that are more electronic, kind of a sound bed. Atmosphere is a big thing for me. If I don't get good vibes and it doesn't feel right, then it's not for me. So I applied that to Bridgewater. And um, also along with that, uh, the fact that Bridgewater is a working class town suited me down to the ground. Quite a few friends live here, so they, I know that where they are. And of course, I've been a member of quite a few groups in Bridgewater. So. Do you know, is there something about this place that kind of makes you want to come back all the, quite a few times, I must say? Well, I belong in Bridgewater because I was adopted when I was two, but then I came to Bridgewater when I was four with the step family I live with now. It's generally a friendly place to be in, which I'm glad I've been in all my life. I do feel I'm at home in Bridgewater because it's, it's my hometown. And I've lived here for quite a while now and I fear that it's got a lot more to offer me. There's loads of work out there. And to say the least, that Bridgewater is my hometown. It's where I belong. I go to a farm twice a week to help out with the um, work around there, like the animal work, um, um, herding cows and herding sheep and all that lot. The way it's come to fruition is, uh, it's been fantastic actually, the pilot group has been very instrumental in co-curating the work. The kinds of responses we've been getting from people um, who have directly participated in the project or, you know, we've gone out and interviewed or, or, or made photographs with, there's been a really wide range of uh, opinions actually about Bridgewater. Bridgewater is transforming. Uh, very rapidly. So I get the sense people want to have their say, they want to have their voice heard. So this exhibition is very much a snapshot of what it feels like to belong, to belong in this town of Bridgewater at this time. I think to belong you have to be outgoing to a certain extent, um, you have to accept people into your lives and you have to be prepared to let them be part of your life to the get the best out and positives. Young people, if they do not get involved in the political system, um, they're not going to have a future. We keep saying this, and it is going to get worse and worse. So they need to get involved, 
turn it round and make it more beneficial for them, give themselves some future and some hope. So that's Belong- my, yeah. Yeah. Um, belonging to me, um, his church, his church family, um, it's a real sense of belonging, um, a real sense of security, um, a real safe place, a place where I can look after other people um, and, and care for them. I meet you that way. Belonging to me is um, understanding where you're coming from and where you're at at the moment. Um, and if this is encouraged by the community you're in, I think that's even better and makes life so much easier, you more open to... Be still. That if you look into the history of Bridgewater, you see the first town that... Um, petitioned Parliament for the abolition of slavery, you see the first arts centre, you see one of the first Odeon cinemas, you see the first council house building, and even people who live and were born here don't give Bridgewater the credit for what a wonderful, historical, political, rebel town it is, because that's why I've stayed here. I think it's a wonderful place. So I think what we need is to concentrate more on building that sense of community and a sense of sort of belonging. Never thought I'd get a sense of belonging from a, from a place that I originally thought was just a but-ugly service station. <laughs>